Hey YouTube, hey, look, King Zon is removing a roller coaster. Which roller coaster do you think it's going to be removed? It's going to be removed. The final rides are coming up starting this coming weekend at King Zon coming up. And the final weekend being October 28th will be the death of one of their 16 roller coasters. Which roller coaster do you think is going to be the death of King Zon in uh, the next remove? Now I'm going to tell you this. I've said in a previous video that... Kings Island will have a Giga Roller Coaster. Giga Roller Coaster is coming. I'm telling you, mark my words, BNN is going to have a brand new Giga Coaster. It's got to be a Giga, and it's going to be a record breaker. I'm telling you, it's coming. 2020, Kings Island is going to have a big, big, big roller coaster. And I, I don't know how big, but we know it's going to be a big one. It's going to be a record breaker. I guarantee it. Anyway, which roller coaster do you think is going to go bye-bye? I, myself, I think, uh, with uh, the thing that they showed on their picture... Was 11 chairs. Well, if you count 11, you go back 11 years, that would be the last roller coaster they got, which would be the Firehawk. I do believe Firehawk is going to go bye bye. I know they've had a lot of mechanical issues with it, and uh, it's just not a real popular roller coaster either. Um, so I do think that that will be the roller coaster going to be leaving. A lot of people seem to think this will be Vortex. Uh, I was one of the very first riders on Vortex. I was on the very first train with humans back when I was a teenager working at King's Island back in 1987. So um, I hope it ain't the Vortex, which I know it's a pretty rough ride now. It's a, an old aero roller coaster. Back in 87, it was a shit, though, man. Um, but, yeah, I did uh, get to spend a lot of time riding that. We got to ride it quite a few times when they first started that chain up. It was just like, man, we can't wait to ride it. And it was in March. It was cold. It was snowing. And uh, it was it was it was something though. I mean, we had a great time. We got to ride it quite a few times, even filmed a commercial on it uh, for the season for Kings Island that year in 1987. Um, had a great time working there at Kings Island back then in my teenage years. So hopefully it's not the vortex, but uh, rumors have been saying vortex might be leaving too. Uh, but I really don't think so because they they put some new footers in for vortex recently, and. Um, you know, because, I mean, it has been sinking a little bit, but it's not been so bad to where they have to remove it. I just don't uh, think it would be it. But then again, I may be wrong. But I still think it's going to be the Firehawk. I think the Firehawk has done met its demise. Uh, like I said, it's not a very big uh, popular roller coaster anymore. So what do you think? Like, share, comment on this video. But it's true. Roller coasters leaving King's Island, and I'm kind of surprised they're going to let one go because I thought, you know, they might put the coaster count up. But if they're going to put in a new Giga coaster, they're going to take the labor for uh, whatever coaster they want to remove. The labor that they would use to operate that roller coaster will be the labor that can man and operate the new roller coaster. So you got to take that in consideration. Uh, and also, King's Island, they can't have as many roller coasters as Cedar Point because. Cedar Point, they, they have separate water park. It's not combined and included with the mission like King's On is. So King's On's got more labor. You understand about labor input hours and things like that. So you got to sit there and take all that in consideration. So if, um, you know, you got to figure your labor cost and all that good stuff. So they're going to have to remove something. Something has to go away. Something has to go bye bye. Uh, in order to replace something with, with something big. And I'm telling you, Giga Coaster is coming. It's going to be a B&M Giga Coaster. I'm just telling you. Mark my words. And I've told you guys this for over a year now. That it's coming. It's going to come. And it's going to happen. Exactly when? I'd say it's 2020. And I would say they're going to probably start construction on it here soon. Okay? This is going to take a while to build a Giga Coaster. But one good thing is... The B&M plant is located right down the road here in Batavia, Ohio, so it won't take as long to ship all the parts, you know, the track pieces and all that stuff, like if it was going to, like, Canada's Wonderland or going out west to Knott's Berry Farm or something like that. Uh, the shipping's going to be right here local. It won't be so, uh, it takes a long build, so it would take a shorter time period to build than like it would if it went to another big park up, you know, like Canada's Wonderland, for, for example. Okay, so anyway... Uh, thoughts. People are even saying in Vertigo, you know, they did remove uh, Stinger from Dorney Park, which is the same thing as what in Vertigo is, but that coaster did have a lot of problems. It used to be at Great America out in California and had a lot of issues out there. So, 
yeah, I think that their their coaster that's going to go bye bye right now is definitely going to be the Firehawk. And I would say if you like Firehawk, the flying coaster, the Vacoma, uh, it's, it's I think it's a painful coaster for me because I'm heavy, but uh, it's it was a painful coaster. I didn't really like it. Um, it's the Flying Dutchman style. It came from Jaga Lake. It used to be uh, X Flight. Uh, the track used to be green. It was up at Jaga Lake Ohio, uh, Amusement Park up in, uh, where Six Flags used to have it up in uh, um, Aurora, Ohio. And that's where X-Flight came from. Well, Firehawk used to be called X-Flight. That's where it came from. And also there was an accident on that roller coaster way back up in Jaga Lake uh, where somebody got really severely hurt. And also there was a reported death on it, which I can't actually confirm that but I'm, I'm pretty sure there was a death I'm pretty sure off that coaster and it was from some kind of negligent but that was with six flags on so six flags on that part all right so what's it going to be we're going to find out hopefully it's not the vortex that's my baby I mean I, I was the first rider on that and it's be a shame to see it go but uh 1987 was a year that that was a record-breaking roller coaster they put in and the bat used to, to be at that location. The original bat back in 1981 was built right where Vortex is now. And as a matter of fact, the same uh, loading station the Vortex is using used to be the bat loading station for the original bat roller coaster. And I'll tell you what, I had a lot of good rides on the old bat, the original bat. Man, that was one hell of a coaster, man. It was an awesome coaster. It's a shame that they had to take it out. It just, It was just not designed correctly. But, man, you're talking about some serious swing action, man. I mean, it just wasn't banked. You know, it didn't have the bank turns. And, and when it would sprint, you know, it would swing you real hard. And and uh, the the shocks would break. It was all the shocks that was on a car, the little shocks and strut things. They had those breaking like crazy. And they just it was just too much mechanical problems. And they just couldn't use that uh, coaster. I mean, the coaster just couldn't, it just couldn't run. It just wasn't wasn't operable and it was very costly to try to maintain it so unfortunately they had to take it out and since it was a flop um, aero dynamics they gave Kings on a pretty good deal for vortex and uh, gave them a pretty cheap price since the bat had to be removed and it was a, like a 2.1 million flop something like that uh, so uh, but yeah hopefully it's not the vortex but like I said we know the beast ain't going nowhere definitely the racers, I don't see the racers leaving. And Adventure Express, no. Banshee, no. Diamondback, no. Uh, the the uh, anything in the planet Snoopy, no. None of those are gonna go away. Um, what else we got? Vertigo would be one that could possibly go, but I don't think it's the Vertigo. And uh, indoor, the flight uh, flight of fear, I think it will stay. Uh, since it's an indoor coaster, I think it will stay. And um, stunt track, I mean, I, I, I wish they would have took it out and put the antique cars there. <laughs> be honest with you, I mean, the stunt track, it looks kind of tacky out there in the middle of the storage containers and all that shit that's sitting around in there. You know, I, I would like to have seen that and go and put the antique cars back where they used to be there. That would have been a lot nicer. But that's my thought. That's my feeling on that. But stunt track, I don't think it's going to go bye bye either. So I think it's safe. So uh, the only thing that's left is uh, Vortex, Firehawk, and Vertigo. Those are the only three that I see that, that would be taken out. So and out of those three, I, I physically, mentally, really think this will be Firehawk, okay? Because I know it's got a lot of mechanical issues with it. All right. Appreciate it. Like this video. Share it. Tell me what your thoughts are. And better get to Kings Island and get your rides in on Firehawk if you want to ride it. Because I'm telling you, I guarantee you that's the one that's going to be leaving. All right. If I'm wrong, I have to eat crow, won't I? All right. Take care, guys. We'll see you later.